here I have compost tea brewing. I've got my own homemade uh, worm castings. I've got two pumps going right now that's pouring oxygen to the solution. There are two air stones in there. Actually, there's three air stones in there, and I also have a sub pump in there that's uh, feeding back into this tea bag of compost uh, tea, which has, like I said, the worm castings. And, um, and it's just kind of circulating water through the worm castings, keeping the organisms, uh, separating them and getting them into solution. And I have that. I'm going to be brewing it for about 24 hours and an 18 gallon tote. And then when I'm done, I'm going to dilute it down and spread it onto the vegetable garden. Then in here, in this bucket, I've been cutting up moringa leaves and the uh, pods. Here's a, here's a long pod. And uh, I'm just going to let it sit in there and brew. And it's a tremendous fertilizer and growth stimulant. It's uh, one of the best, uh, most potent fertilizers I've put on my garden yet. So I'm going to continue to chop up some of this moringa leaf for my moringa trees. It doesn't take a whole lot. And uh, I'm going to let that sit anywhere from 24 hours to, you can let it sit for a month, two months, three months. And uh, the longer you let it sit, uh, it's going to start uh, having a foul odor, um, but if you don't mind that, uh, knock yourself out and get some great moringa tea for your plants, fertilizer. Um, but really, just letting it sit uh, it, uh, for for 24 hours—that's plenty. Or you can grind it all up in a blender, which I do sometimes, and then uh, dilute it with some water. And uh, if you put it in a Vitamix, all these leaves and stems and, and pods in a Vitamix, uh, nice, nice thick soupy mixture, dilute it with water. You can put it directly on your garden at that point. Um, and you'll be amazed at uh, the results you get. In fact, you can get some Moringa powder in the health food stores. Go ahead and give that a try. Um, I just happen to be lucky to be able to grow my own Moringa and uh, be able to use the fresh stuff. So this is Dr. Steve's garden, over and out.